On behalf of Dr. L. Lee Bosley and the entire Bosley Medical Group, thank you for your interest in our medical hair restoration services. In addition to this video transcript of the Thinking Man's Guide to Hair Restoration, your BMG package also contains a copy of our new 36-page guidebook, The Art and Science of Hair Restoration. It will give you the detailed information about the world-renowned hair transplantation procedures developed by Dr. Bosley, including his micrograft, mini-graft, varigraft, and male pattern reduction techniques. When you've reviewed the guidebook and this video, we invite you to call Bosley Medical at 1-800-352-2244 to schedule a free private consultation with a BMG doctor. He'll answer your medical questions, diagnose your hair loss pattern, and tell you if you're a candidate for permanent hair restoration. If you are a candidate, he can also custom design a hair restoration plan that's just right for you. Remember, this valuable personal consultation with a BMG doctor is offered at no cost or obligation. Simply call your nearest Bosley office toll-free at 1-800-352-2244 Monday through Saturday. Now please, enjoy this encore presentation of the Thinking Man's Guide to Hair Restoration. For centuries, men have tried in vain to understand the mysteries of hair loss. Why, as they grew older, would some men keep their hair and others lose it? Until recently, all that was known about hair loss was how intensely men agonized over it and how desperate they could be to find solutions. Now, in just the last 35 years, medical science has discovered the root cause of hair loss, and along with it, some real answers about what can be done to restore lost hair. It's estimated that American men waste over $200 million a year on bogus lotions and exotic formulas that claim to grow hair. Millions more are spent on wigs and toupees, except now their salesmen call them hair systems and invent scientific-sounding names like bioweave. The first real breakthrough in hair restoration came in the late 1950s. It was then that legitimate medical science joined the search for answers. Doctors had long known that even severely bald men usually never lost the hair at the very back and sides of their heads. They theorized that these hairs were genetically programmed to last a lifetime. The question was, if some of these permanent hairs could be relocated to balding areas, would they remain? Or would they fall out like the original hair? Clinical tests proved that transplanted hair would continue to grow, and the result was the first natural and permanent solution ever discovered for hair loss. No one understood the importance of this more than hair restoration pioneer, L. Lee Bosley, M.D., a board-certified dermatologist. It's really been tremendously gratifying because in the last six or eight or ten years, we've developed techniques with our micrographs, minigrafts, and varigrafts here at Bosley Medical Group. We've developed techniques so that we're able to restore a head of hair that's virtually impossible to detect. As most men age, their hair begins to recede in one of several typical patterns. It's not a result of diet or stress or wearing hats or headbands. It's due to hormones that are normally present in every man's body. Male hormones such as dihydrotestosterone cause hairs to become thinner and shorter until finally their follicles wither away completely. The good news is that most men have an ample supply of hormone-resistant hairs at the back and sides of the head. In hair transplantation, these hairs are used to replenish areas of thinning and balding. The result isn't just new living hair, it's new permanent hair that will continue to grow for a lifetime. I was what you would call very bald. I really didn't think a hair transplant would do much good until I saw some of the procedures that are possible now. This 
was permanent, it was natural, and that's what I elected to do. After the, I went to Dr. Bosley and had the procedures done, uh, things improved quite a bit. I found myself a little more active in a social setting, maybe looking out for the camera a little more in a, in a party room, things of that nature. In a business setting, I'd be a little more natural and confident in front of my clients. Today, we're able to help many more men than we could 15 or 20 years ago. The reason is that our techniques of hair restoration have improved enormously. Nevertheless, in order for a man to know whether or not he himself is a good candidate, he must consult with an experienced hair restoration physician. But if hair transplantation is the permanent answer to hair loss, we have to realize that not all techniques or practitioners are equal. In a moment, we'll see what makes the difference between a hair transplant that looks like this and one that's so natural it's virtually unnoticeable. The difference isn't just science, it's art as well. And now what's exciting is, is I can go to the, the barber shop and, and finally say again, a little off the top, please. You can pluck it the same as you could pluck any other hair, but when you pluck it, it'll grow right back in. That's my own hair. I don't take it off. It grows. I have to have it cut, styled. I don't have to worry about any type of situation, whether it's intimate, athletic, or use your own imagination. I don't like to do things that aren't me. Um, I dress kind of casually. Um, that's my attitude. I train naturally. I don't use any type of artificial means to achieve my goals. And I wanted a natural solution. I wanted my own hair. I wanted it to be my own color, my own texture. It, you know, that's my hair. They just moved it from one place to another. At our medical facility, we've never done anything but hair restoration by medical means. We've never done any artificial hair pieces or uh, wigs or toupees or any of the other things that are sold under a thousand different pseudonyms today. What is this timeless psychological need that men have to keep their hair? For one thing, hair has always been associated with youth. Baldness, we think, should only happen to old men. So the balding young man may feel that nature has cheated him of his best looking years. When I started losing my hair, it bothered me so much I became obsessed with it. And the more I thought about it, the more my hair fell out. But after going to the Bosley Medical Group, the results I've gotten are fantastic. I feel like myself again. I don't mind taking pictures. I actually stopped wanting to take pictures because every time I took a picture, more hair had fallen out and I looked older. It's like a bad dream that is over. It's my hair, it's my color, everything is mine. This is my hair. Today, men who are losing their hair can turn for answers to either artificial hair pieces or to natural restoration. Hair pieces have been around for centuries. Not much has changed except for styles, attachments, and names. Today, wigs and toupees are called hair systems, and instead of being glued or taped to the scalp, they can be woven directly into strands of tightly braided natural hair. One drawback is that as the real hair grows, the entire apparatus loosens and must be constantly retied and reattached. Retying can also cause traction alopecia, the permanent loss of even more hair. Cost is another consideration. Some men spend up to $7,000 every two to three years for maintenance of high quality hair pieces. So what about natural solutions? One new development is the prescription medication Rogaine, a form of the drug minoxidil, and the only substance ever proven to grow even a single hair on the scalp. But Rogaine, too, has its limitations. For one thing, it has only been shown to grow hair on the bald spot at the back of the head, not at the frontal hairline. And although some researchers claim it helps to retard hair loss, only a small percentage of Rogaine users ever achieve dense regrowth. I was involved in some of the early research at Harvard using minoxidil, and I've been using Rogaine in my practice for quite some time. Of the men who grow cosmetically acceptable hair, only about 5% show a dense regrowth. And Rogaine must be applied twice a day for life, or whatever new hair has appeared will soon be lost which in fact leads us to a natural and permanent answer to hair loss, hair transplantation. To bring the promise of hair restoration to men who are moderately to severely bald, the Bosley Medical Group developed a new technique known as male pattern reduction, 
or MPR. Male pattern reduction is simply removing excess balding skin from the top of the head. Usually in a series of one or two or three procedures, we remove most of the square inches of balding skin from the top and back of the head. Our goal is to reduce it 80 to 90 percent. That leaves a much smaller area to fill with hair. It saves a lot of hair transplants uh, after the procedure is finished. Creating a natural looking hairline was an even greater challenge. Dr. Bosley was one of the first to understand that a hairline is not a line at all, but a zone of very fine hair that blends softly into the forehead. During the late 1970s, we began to develop increasingly delicate methods of achieving hair transplantation. And as the grafts became smaller and smaller, we eventually developed a tiny graft with only one or two fine hairs in it. And we called that a micrograft. Once I've selected the proper type of hair, then we put it in the proper location and shape and insert it at the correct angle and direction so that we've recreated a very natural, virtually impossible to detect hairline. I think that the fact that Dr. Bosley initiated this, the micrograft, knowing that the blood supply would be enough to actually nourish these little follicles, was uh, took a lot of courage. And what his, his, he started has now become a watershed throughout the country, if not the world. It is to Dr. Bosley's credit to have introduced this technique in America, and especially now in Europe which is called the micrograft, a graft which has one or two hairs, and the mini graft, which has three or four hairs. I defy anyone other than a hair restoration specialist to detect grafts done with this technique. To perform a natural looking hair transplant, a physician must also be an artist and must know the classic rules of facial dimension. He must have the artistic skill to design a hairline that's right for each patient's face, features, and age. It's been my experience that every man's face and head of hair is unique, uh, virtually as unique as his fingerprints. That means in restoring his hair, we have to analyze the shape of his face, the appearance of his forehead, his skull bone, his remaining hair, and we have to design a hairline and recreate a hairline that looks very natural for that man. Many times when I see a new prospective patient here at BMG, he'll say, Dr. Bosley, I've sure seen a lot of bad looking hair transplants. Now my answer is gonna sound a little bit facetious, but it's quite accurate. And that is, of course, the only ones you've seen look bad because those are the kinds that you can see. The excellent high quality hair transplants that we're able to do nowadays, you don't see because they're virtually impossible to detect. Thanks to the efforts of innovators like Dr. L. Lee Bosley, both the art and science of hair restoration have entered a new era. An era that has brought natural and permanent solutions to the age-old problem of hair loss. But how is the hair transplant procedure itself done? In a moment, we'll see. I'm gonna be 27 years old and I take care of my body. I go to school, I try to educate myself, I try to dress nicely, but my hair loss was the only thing that I couldn't do anything about and it was very frustrating for me. I figured I was just fooling myself. I could no longer look in the mirror and say to myself, oh, I really don't look that bad, it's just thinning a little. It just became obvious that I was, I was bald. I'd lost my hair. I saw the problem, I had the procedure. I can have procedure if I start having noticeable hair loss. So I'm in control. In a business setting, my confidence is picked up. Um, I can say that without any doubt. I've watched my business grow. I've seen it with hair and without hair, and I definitely like how I look better with hair. Uh, well, I don't think you can tell by looking, but I've had about uh, five or six hundred grafts put here in the front of my head so that all of this hair you see here toward the front of my head has been transplanted and uh, I don't really think about it from day to day because it's easy to forget. Uh, but when I do think about it, I realize my frontal head of hair has been recreated here at Bosley Medical Group. And it's my own hair. It won't pull out or fall out. It's uh, permanent lifetime hair, and it's really uh, so natural I just don't think about it. Throughout the ages, 
man has desperately searched for a solution to hair loss. In fact, the world was without any permanent answers to baldness until the hair transplantation procedure was developed. To find out what the procedure is like, we go to the Bosley Medical Institute in Beverly Hills, California. Here, and at other locations around the U.S., Bosley Medical has performed more hair restoration procedures than any other medical group in the world. And now, Josh Balbergen, a marketing consultant from Santa Monica, California, is about to discover how the procedures are done. Hi, Josh. I'm Steve. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, Steve, yes. Let's go back to my office. Okay. You just kind of begin to not necessarily like what you see in the mirror in the morning, you know? You're, you're shaving a stranger, it seems. And uh, I want to do as much as I can to preserve youthful looks, you know? Josh meets with a senior medical assistant who answers general questions about hair restoration. Then Josh requests a consultation with a Bosley medical doctor. Josh's consultation begins with a thorough medical examination of his hair and scalp. This is followed by a diagnosis and classification of his degree of male pattern baldness. Straight through to the back. The doctors then give a prognosis for future hair loss, which serves as a basis for the treatment plan. Over 90% of the men BMG doctors see are good candidates for hair restoration, and Josh is no exception. This supply is more than sufficient to meet this demand, so the ratio is quite favorable and we can do a beautiful job for you. Working together with his patient, Dr. Bosley outlines a custom plan for restoring the hairline and reducing the bald spot at the back of Josh's head. The plan is based on Josh's age, hair loss pattern, and amount of donor hair, among other factors. Before the plan is finalized, Dr. Bosley answers each of Josh's questions, shows him before and after photos of actual patients, and discusses the time frame and the costs. Hair transplantation is a simple outpatient procedure. Josh, we have about 50 different moves. It really? takes just two to three hours, and the patient is usually back to work the very next day. As I design your hairline, I will be using Michelangelo's rule of one-thirds. So we'll be balancing your face from the tip of your chin to the tip of your nose to above your eyebrows to the hairline. After routine preparations, the procedure begins. Tiny living grafts of permanent hair from the donor area are carefully transplanted to the balding areas at the front and top of the head, where they'll take root and continue to grow for life. The procedure itself is simple. The complex part is the artistic skill it takes for the doctor to create a transplant that's subtle and natural. Dr. Bosley has also developed the Verigraph technique for low visibility. By using hairs of various textures and colors, by varying the graft sizes, and by placing them in variated patterns, the transplanted hair can look more subtle and unobtrusive, even between procedures. One millimeter micrographs of one or two extremely fine hairs help to create a soft, feathered hairline, while slightly larger grafts of thicker hair are angled together to create a wave of greater fullness and density behind the hairline and over the top. After a resting period, Josh's transplanted hair will begin to grow back as vigorously as before. And since this is natural permanent hair, it can be styled and cut any way Josh chooses. Right here, hold it. Right. The best thing I like about it is my hair matched me. You know what really made me glad that it was Dr. Bosley? It's when I started seeing other actors and other people and what they had done. In fact, I, I sent some of them to Dr. Bosley. Now, because the camera is unmerciful. I know many athletes who went to Dr. Bosley to have their hair done. And as I told you before, they just come out, you know, after the treatment, they feel just wonderful, great, and it really enhances them. And the funniest thing of all is, when that is done, they act completely different. When I was 25, I was one of those very same people that I believe went into some denial regarding my hair loss. Finally, 10 years later, I discovered the Bosley Medical Group. Wigs and weaves weren't an option. I didn't want something unnatural and something that I would have to attend to. For me, it just gave me a whole lot more confidence in my appearance, in my business opportunities. Uh, you know, I have to do a professional job, uh, either, either selling myself or selling my products, and I'm not worrying about 
if they're thinking about me, my head or my lack of hair, you know, or or what I perceive they're thinking, you know, I can just concentrate on what I, what I'm supposed to be doing. I have several words of advice. I mean, I lived through this. You've seen the before pictures. I think if I had one regret and I had to do this all over again, I would have started earlier. I can see Dr. Bosley at this stage of my hair restoration process. I can walk into the office the next day. I don't have to wear a hat. I don't have to wear a hairpiece. It's virtually undetectable. I could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I would have started earlier when my hair had just first started to thin and had it as an ongoing process. For the first time in history, hair transplantation has given balding men the ability to take control of their hair loss and the freedom to change the way they look and feel about themselves. But hair transplantation is truly an art, so men must choose their hair restoration specialists wisely. This is, after all, one of the few arts where the artist must aim to conceal his efforts and where the results of the best can be seen by all get recognized by none. And I don't want this fake image anymore, you know, which I always felt, even though I look good with hair pieces, I always felt like I was fake. This is really my hair. You can, you can pull on it, you can, you can brush it back, and the wind can blow, you can wash it, uh, you can go swimming, you can work out. The difference is, when I wore a hair piece, I'd go home at night and I'd remove it. It was artificial, I'd set it down on a table. When I go home tonight, with my own hair, I don't do anything but go to sleep. This is my own hair. It does not come off. I cannot pull it out. It will stay with me for a lifetime. I, there was no way I was going to wear a hairpiece. I would shave my head bald before I would wear a hairpiece. I just don't believe in that. You want to look natural. You want to look your best. You don't want to look artificial. You don't want anybody to ever know that you had a hair transplant. That you can get from a good artist like Dr. Bosley. By the way, the way you can tell if somebody thinks you've had hair restoration, as I'm looking in your eyes, you'll see them looking up to your hair and back to your eyes. And as soon as that happens, you know somebody doesn't think it looks natural. So far, that hasn't happened to me. The hardest thing about this, really, is when I told friends that I've had the procedure, no one believes me. I only have one regret. I didn't do it sooner. We hope you've enjoyed our program about men whose lives have been changed by BMG's natural permanent hair restoration. Of course, there's only one way to find out if you're a candidate for BMG hair restoration, a personal consultation with a medical doctor. We've made it easy by offering a consultation with a BMG medical doctor free of any cost or obligation to you. To schedule an appointment, Simply take the Bosley 36-page guidebook that came with this video and open to page 22. Find the hair loss classification chart and mark the pattern of hair loss you feel most closely resembles your own. Then call the nearest Bosley Medical Office at 1-800-352-2244 Monday through Saturday and ask to speak to a senior medical assistant. He or she will be happy to answer general questions about hair loss or hair restoration. And if you like, you can schedule a free private consultation with a BMG doctor. It's as simple as calling this number, and it could be the most important personal improvement decision you'll ever make. The decision that could give you a new head of hair and a whole new life.